Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand storage classes, autostatic in C. So the concept of uh, scope of the variables has already been discussed in our previous videos. There we have discussed that uh, if any variable is declared or defined in a program, you see it is having two scopes. One is a uh, uh, block scope and the other one is global scope. So these concepts uh, has already been discussed in our previous video. Hoping that you have already watched that video. We are continuing this class and every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class uh, so what is the storage classes uh, are used to describe storage classes are used to describe scope visibility and lifetime feature of a variable or a function so so far for example if you declare this variable as int x so it is having as we have dis discussed that it is having a, a, a block scope within this block within the uh, existence of main that the things will get this variable will have its lifetime if you come out of this function for example f u n function is there means so uh, if you come out of that function uh, that the existence of that variable will will not be there okay so now there are four different so using this there are four different types of uh, storage classes auto static external and resistor in this class we'll discuss about auto and static in our next class we'll discuss about external and resistor so what this auto and static is they are going to describe the uh, so uh, so these storage classes are going to describe the the existence of the variable describe the scope visibility and lifetime of a variable so how they are going to differ that we will try to understand auto so first coming to the first one auto is default storage class for all the variables declared inside the function or a block so whenever we declare this int x or int uh, auto int x both are of same types in the sense in the sense the both these declarations does not make any difference so the existence of this variable is block scope and declaring the variable with auto uh, int x is also having the block scope by default every variable is of type auto means automatic automatically completing the function uh, after completing the function automatically those variables will be killed die uh, those, those variables will die so that is the meaning of auto so most probably uh, we don't use this auto because by default a variable declaration uh, and auto int x uh, int variable declaration are all are of same types the next one is static so what this uh, what this static uh, storage class is static storage class is used to declare static variables which have a property of preserving their values which have a property of preserving their values even after they are out of their scope whenever a variable see here here whenever a variable is declared with static so it is this is what we call it as storage classes so whenever a variable is declared with static what happens is uh, instead of instead of uh, completing its scope within this function so whenever int count is given means the existence of this variable will be there within this scope within this block but whenever a static is given the life of that variable uh, will change so in what way it is change preserving their value even after they are out of their scope even they are out of their scope these values can be used okay so uh, this is how this is the uh, diagram which we are following from our previous diagram previous uh, uh, examples so whenever a function call is made a new activation record will get generated and uh, the existence of that variable for example if you take int x the existence of this variable only when this function call is uh, is existing so whenever this function call is completed this function will also this variable will also die okay but whenever uh, a static variable has been declared the static variables will get stored in the data part of the uh, process so uh, global variables and static variables will get stored in this space okay means uh, 
until the completion of this entire program both these variables which are declared as global or static will exist okay so within the block of the code if a variable is declared as static means this existence of this uh, variable is going to be file scope it will get changed to file scope so that point is very important to understand from block scope to file scope static is used and one more point is oh, the static variables are initialized only once let's try to understand this uh, uh, this example and try to understand the static variables so initially we start with function main function so main function call this is the activation record for main and within that we are having a function called fun so first function call fun is made what happens function call is made here static int count so a variable with static uh, static storage class has been provided which means it has to be stored here in the data part so here the count uh, is equal to 0 has been created or de defined now count increment now this value will become 1 and return count means 1 will get written and it will get printed so 1 will get printed in the next line of code again the function call is made again the function call is made int count is equal to 0 will it get initialized again no so the initialization initialization is done only once so this function call may be called 100 times but the initial Initialization, the initialization of this variable is done only once make a note of this point okay so this line will not get executed if it once get executed if if it is defined on the uh, memory means so this initialization will never be done again count increment so what is the value of the count which is one okay so this one uh, now will get incremented to two okay so now this count will be transferred back and the value is 2 and it will get printed so that is the use of static make a note of that point okay so this is all about uh, uh, auto and static hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching